Okay. Oh. So, this is like a rough week for me. It always is. The week of St. Patrick's Day is always like a rough week in my like life. Um, because it's the last week I like ever saw my mom alive. Um, so it's, oh, I'm always like, it's just extra like sensitive. I mean, of course you have your anniversaries, you know, with somebody that's passed away, their, their birthday or your birthday without them. any holiday, the day they died, you know, there's all, all those anniversaries, but for some reason, it's like, this week is just, uh, and it's just lining up so perfect, like a perfect mess, because I finished chapter six, and it's in the process of going up, and this book is in the middle of 2010 so the next book is going to go into 2011 and my mom died in 2011 and it's like I don't know if I don't know if I'm actually I don't know if I can already it's like I definitely handle this week a lot better than I have in the past 100% I think the first year that she passed away, um, this week rolled around and like, I just, I couldn't be alone. But I was like, I was dating somebody at the time, so I was one of those just like <laughs> curl up in, in a ball on the floor type of weeks. But then, you know, over time, it's like, it, it doesn't get easier. It doesn't get better. You just kind of, learn to deal with your emotions I guess my problem is is that this week is real right now it's real but then it's like when I start writing the next book it's like I gotta go back in there again and feel and I guess that's the whole point is to feel right I guess I don't know once I thought I had a therapist who told me that I'm supposed to feel my feelings which is the stupidest fucking thing. Like, why do I have to feel my feelings? So I left that therapist and I just went to a psychiatrist who hooked me up with some good drugs. <laughs> no, I'm serious. He's a... He's, he's the real MVP. Anyways. Over the last five years, this week has always just gotten to me. Mainly because it's like... It's like my week. Like, my mom was a lot of things to a lot of people. But all of us combined who have known her, like, all have the same, like, emotional attachment to certain things. So, like, her birthday. Or, like, me and my siblings, our birthdays without her. Or holidays. Or, you know, like, collectively, as her family and her friends, like, we all have these universal, like, remembering Remem remembrance of her but this week was just like my week like this week was the last week I personally saw her alive and like so it's it's just it's just my <sighs> I just don't know I can handle, I can handle the week. I have to. <laughs> but after this week is done and I go into my books and uh, I have to revisit the whole experience. It's gonna be like, I just hope I get, I, I, I hope, I hope writing the next book or two is not, I just hope it doesn't feel like this week all the time you know what I mean like I just want to power through so this week is shitty and I'm all about I'm all about all the positive memories all that stuff 
but it's still ouch I can't I don't know but look at least for chapter six um in the next few days, I guess, hopefully. And that's all I gotta say. We're done.